Hey guys, welcome to today's class. And in today's class, I will teach you one very important tool which will help you unlock hundreds of chord shapes across the fretboard of the ukulele. And with those shapes, you can be creative in arranging music, in writing your own song, and even find more comfortable position perhaps for some existing chords. How about that? So let's start. So the first thing that you gotta do in order to unlock plenty of chord shapes on the fretboard is understand and learn the names of the notes. Start by learning the open strings such as A, E, C, and G. Please have a look at the example on the screen right now. This is what I called the galaxy of the fretboard and all the notes are in it. As you can see, from the zero fret until the 12th fret, we have a combination of notes and after the 12th fret, everything repeats all over again. So basically what I'm trying to say is that the notes on your 12th fret are identical to the notes on your zero fret. 12th fret on the first string will be an A, the 12th fret on the second string is an E, then we have the C on the third string and the final one will be a G. So the main reason why I want you to learn the notes over the fretboard, preferably by heart, is because with that information you can navigate the existing chord shapes such as F, C, G, a D, the A, to various other positions across the fretboard. You're simply using the shapes that you already know, but via that, unlocking more interesting chords, more positions. And that brings us to the next step, which is called the C, A, G, F, D system. These letters are representing chords, the basic chord shapes over the first position, such as C, A, G, F, and D. However, you guys probably already know that there are two types of chords. We have major chords and minor chords. Those letters don't say whether the chord is major or minor. So it simply tells you that it can be a C minor or a C major. So C M or just a C. So this is our C chord, zero, 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 three. However, it can also be C minor, zero, three, three, three. That's a C minor chord, guys. So basically we end up with 10 different shapes five major and five minor. Two shapes for the C chord, C major and C minor. Two shapes for the A chord, A major and A minor. Two shapes for the G, G major and G minor. Two shapes for the F, F major and F minor. And the final one, D, D major and D minor. So now we come to the very cool part. So with these 10 shapes, you can unlock 100 other chords. Let me give you an example. So this is our C chord, and that connects us to the first part of the class. So in this chord, we have various notes, which you can check again and trace back at the galaxy of the fretboard, right? So have a look at the notes. So we can already see that we have the G note on the fourth string, then we have the C on the third, then we have the E on the second string, and another C on the first string. So what you have to do here is to spot the home note of the chord. And it's actually very easy. The name of the chord is C or C minor, but it all traces back to the note C because it doesn't really matter whether it's a minor chord or a major chord such as C minor, C major, but something that is related to C. So that already gives us by default the identity of the chord. It's a C note. The C note is the home note of the chord. That's the note that gives the name to that chord, okay? So, so if we take the entire shape of C and we shift it two frets up, let's try it. Let's see what, what's gonna happen. So the C goes to the D and then the three remaining open strings shift also two frets up. So you end up on your second fret and that's where you need your bar chord finger to actually press on that fret. So let's see, what chord is that? So we have two, 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 five. And this remains our home note. So the fifth fret on the first string is still the home note because we simply shifted the position. And this gives us a new chord, which is D, D major. So if we take the D chord and we shift it again two frets up, you get the E chord. Why is that? Because your pinky is pressing 
on the first string and on the first string that's where we started that's our home note that's the note that defines the chord so let's look at the a shape let's define where is our home note where is that a so we have an a on the first string again we can also decide to play the a on the fourth string up to you it's all central points this, this is exactly the same note so this is just your um, compass that is the, the note that brings you from one point to another and you can decide which ones of the A's you decide to focus on in order to make the transition to your neck to actually unlock more shapes so if we're at the A chord and I decide to focus on my first string because that's your A note let's take the entire shape one fret up let's see what we end up with so meaning the second fret will move to the third fret, the first fret will move to the second fret, and then the two zeros on the first and the second string need to go up as well, and you end up at the B flat chord. Why is that? Because the entire shape of A shifted one fret up fully, everything, right? And we kept the home note, that central note, on the same string because as we defined that was our central note from the A, it was on the first string and we took the entire position one fret up so we keep the central note on the first string what is that note it's a b flat so what is the chord b flat major so here you go a very nice chord and you can keep on building that shape up so if this is b flat this is b needless to say you can unlock 11 more possibilities of various chords with one single shape and when you arrive at the 12th fret everything repeats again because you start pretty much from the beginning just one octave up just in a higher register because the notes on your 12th fret are identical to your zeros to your open strings and now how about we look at the a minor chord which is two zero 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 i bet most of you already know this one so again we need to define the home note of the chord the central note what is the central note again an a because that's where the name is taken from from that note that's why we call it a major actually a triad there's some other names of course but it's still traced back to that a so a minor so now let's take our a minor chord and let's start moving up the neck we have 11 possibilities uh, 11 different chords with the use of one single shape so here is our am let's shift everything one fret up you end up with a b flat minor chord why b flat minor because this is our b flat since we came from the a minor chord right because it was a minor shape and we simply took that shape and we shifted it one position up it keeps the same quality so it's still a minor chord and therefore we call it b flat minor so three one 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 as you can see there is a bar chord here because you needed to shift the position up from your open strings and press it on the first fret now what happens if we take the b flat minor and we shift it one fret up you get the b minor let's keep on going c minor c sharp minor or d flat minor that it's a theoretical thing but let's get into it a bit later d minor another possibility for you guys to learn in a very cool d minor shape d sharp minor and etc all right guys that was it for today and i hope you enjoyed this class remember 120 chords with just a bit of work so i'm welcoming you to sit down learn the fretboard a little bit and that will help you navigating to every corner of your fretboard and just one more thing guys if you enjoyed this video i'm welcoming you to support my channel by subscribing and liking this video and possibly even letting me know in the comments whether you like this class or not and if you want to see me doing more of those in the future and if you love ukulele so much and you want to improve in no time i'm welcoming you to check my patreon page which I included in the description below it's a great fun guys because I'm doing weekly live classes there with my community and giving tips and tricks and releasing tabs anyway tons of cool activities make sure to check it out and I see you in the next video ciao ciao